you are given this diagram. They said A, B, C, D is a square wave. Then we have to find the value of X. Okay, the first thing I have to note here is that this is a square, meaning interior angle are all 90 degrees. So this is 90, this is 90, this is 90. So what I will do since total, let me call here theta. So here should be 90 minus theta, making it the sum to be 90 again. So we are going to apply cosine rule here to solve this. As you can see, since here is 9, here is also 9 because this is squared at all 9. So let's now apply cosine rule. So in triangle BCE, in triangle BCE, we see that cos theta, I'm applying cosine rule, cos theta is 8 squared plus 9 squared minus 7 squared over 2 times 8 times 9. That's our cosine rule. As you can see, this is, this should be 96, yes, 96 over 2 times 8 times 9. And 2 in 96 is 48, 8 in 48 is 6, so 3 in 6 is 2, and 3 in 9 is 3. So our cos theta is 2 over 3. So that same way, in this triangle, this one, in triangle ECD, applying cosine rule again, we see that cos 90 minus theta, 90 minus theta, applying cosine rule, is also, this is 8 squared, plus 9 squared minus x squared over 2 times 8 times 9. So, and again, you know, cos 90 minus theta is sine theta. That's from our cofunction identity. Do you remember? So, so that's it. It's do you remember that sine theta is square root 1 minus cos square theta? Yes, Pythagorean identity. So, sine theta is all this, which is 8 squared plus 9 squared minus x squared over 2 times 8 times 9, which is equal to square root 1 minus, you know we've gotten cos theta as 2 over 3, so 2 over 3 all squared, this is 1 minus, square root 1 minus 4 over 9, so which is square root 5 over 9, which is root 5 over 3. So we are solving this equals this, so we'll continue. So we are solving so looking at this, we are saying that this equals this now. So as you can see, 3 is here. So 3 gone, 3. So we have, we have 8 squared is 64 plus 81 minus x squared over 2 times 8 times 3 gone here. So we are left with 3, which is root, 50, root 5. So 2 times 3 is 6 times 8 is 48. So 48 goes here in times root 5. That's 48 times root 5. Why here is 64 plus 64 plus 8. 1 is 145 minus x squared. So making this x squared is now 145 minus 48 root 5. So I made x square is subject of therefore x we are looking for is square root 145 minus 48 times root 5. So that's our answer.